Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hey everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto. And today I want to show a basic, uh, how to change a tire on the side of the road. Now we're going to use the 2015 Subaru Outback, but I want you to focus on your car and maybe go and look, if you don't know how to do tire on the side of the road with your own jack, maybe find the location of your jack and use the basics of what I'm going to say um, to your own car. Maybe try it in a level driveway, parking lot that's out in the open to give yourself reassurance that you can do it during an emergency situation on the side of the road. So we're going to start with where our jack's located. Well, on this 2015, the jack and lug nut wrench is located in the trunk. Now on the side of the road, before you get your jack and everything out of the trunk, and you're on a safe area location, apply your e-brake. You could have a pull-up uh, pedal one on your left. This one is electronic. So I'm going to activate it. And now I'm going to get out and get my jack and spare tire and set it up. So this has a rubber mat. We're just going to lift that up, pull up the access door. And here we have the Subaru wheel lock key, because this vehicle has it. Your car might also. Make sure you keep that wheel lock key in a location that you'll always know where it is. It's, you know, situations happen, emergencies and panic sets in. You don't think clearly. So if you keep that right here next to the item that you're going to need, that's the way to do it as far as I'm concerned. So we're going to pull the jack out. We have a scissor jack. We have the lug wrench. We have the tool that is going to use it to crank it up. Okay. So also, if you ever have a tow service come to get you because uh, the vehicle's dead and they're saying, oh, blah, 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 you have a tow hook. It's right here in the trunk. There is a plastic cap in the front and in the back. And here it is right here on the bumper. You pop that cover off and there's a big threaded tube and this will thread right in. Now the tow service can hook to this and pull your car out. That way you don't get them to go underneath and possibly damage your lower control system. Uh, control arms, trailing arms, people like to attach that hook to it and uh, that's not a good thing. So we're going to grab the crank tool for the end of this, the lug wrench, the jack, and the wheel lock key. We'll pull that right out of the trunk. Get that out of here. So now that we got the jack and the lug wrench and the hook for the jack aside, before we set it up on the car, we're going to grab our spare tire. Take that out. And that's going to have, a lot of vehicles will have the safety lock, some of a big butterfly wing nut. Just do your lefty loosey, righty tighty. And I'm spinning this to the left. Don't think you're not doing it right. Trust me, they, they put like a six inch bolt in this. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe <laughs> to keep it from rattling. Uh, they really bolt these down. <laughs> Maybe you have a tag team. <laughs> All right, so that's out of the way. Now I'm gonna reach down and grab my spare tire. So you always wanna be obviously off the road as far as you can. And I know roads have pitches to them. So <clears throat> you wanna set this up in a level space. If your car is at an angle, it's, that's not gonna work. So you've gotta, you can drive at a slow pace and find a location of a, a level area. So see the rail right here, how it's pinched? It's got this cutout. Here's the pinch rail, it hangs down, and there's two dimples right here. That's the manufacturer's way of saying, use this there, please. Now, I'm gonna bring it underneath. I'm gonna, so you crank it just like a, you would like a key. It's a big long bolt in there. If you're with someone and you're on the side of the road, I strongly recommend one person does the job, the other person does a lookout. That's as simple as they stand behind you, up on the curb, away from you, yelling if there's a car that's drifting towards you so you can get out of there. I, so many times I see these people on the side of the road doing their tire and their partner in crime or someone they're traveling with has got the back to the traffic and they're just talking to them. It's extremely dangerous. So now we've got this leveled. 
I've got it in those two dimples and I've got it taut. So I'm gonna grab this hook, put it in there, grab my lug wrench, put it in the keyway slot that they make for you and just start turning it. I just want pressure on the car. I'm not lifting the tire off the ground. The reason for that is we have to break free the lug nuts. But if this tire was flat and was on the ground, I'm making it so that we can clearance up enough and it's, there's some tautness on there. Leave that there like that. Now you're gonna take your lug wrench, break your lug nuts free. Have to have pressure on the tire. A lot of people jack the car all the way up, tires off the ground, and they think they're gonna break the lug nuts free. It's not gonna happen. So with the lug wrench in there, all cars nowadays, I would have to say probably 98% to 99, to loosen something, you go left. To tighten it, you go right. So righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Uh, there were cars way back in the day that were opposite thread. I don't think we're dealing with that anymore. So I'm gonna go lefty-loosey, going down to the left, counterclockwise. I'm gonna do this to all lug nuts. Don't forget, leverage is your friend. So obviously if it's up here, you're not getting your, your tushy into it. All right, now we're gonna get that wheel lock key. I'm gonna line up those grooves. and break that free. Now with all the lug nuts free to your strength of your hand, make sure they're movable. Good, don't lose that. Put it in your pocket if you need to. Now we're gonna jack it all the way up. If you get a chance to, and you're in an area, you can look around, see if you can find a rock or sturdy log, piece of wood. Maybe jam it underneath the other side tire in the front and the back. Check for clearance, I'm still not clear. There we go. So now I can by hand take your lug nuts off. Like I said, I would strongly recommend doing this in your driveway or empty parking lot, so you can assure yourself and feel comfortable doing this under pressure. Everyone was always worried about that they can't do this. You can do You're it. gonna get your spare. You just gotta remember certain basics. Once again, that is loosen the lug nuts before you raise the car. See how I'm moving the tire around? Don't be afraid to do that. It's not dangerous to do that. I'm just getting the lug nut free. Make now, sure you put these in a place that you're not gonna lose them or get kicked. So, in my case, I'm just gonna set them right here. Now you can pull your tire off and grab it from both sides. Now that I'm gonna, I have my spare tire, I'm gonna line myself up. And you see the lug stud? That is, no, say, 12 o'clock, perfect. So I'm gonna take the hole in the rim and I'm gonna line it up for like 12 o'clock. So when I raise it, I hit it, hold it up flush against the hub, and I get my lug nuts. Put one on right away, all the way down, bottom it out. And you can push on the top, wobble it back and forth like that get a nice sound matting surface. Then put the rest of your lug nuts on. Hopefully you don't have to do this at a too fast of a pace because of traffic. Hopefully you feel safe enough and calm enough. Now they're all hand tight. I cannot tighten them. Now I'm gonna come over to my jack. So now I'm going to lower the jack and I'm gonna do counterclockwise. Putting pressure on the tire, not the whole weight of the vehicle, just enough pressure. 
so that I can tighten those lug nuts. Now I take my lug wrench. I'm gonna start at the bottom. I like to start at the bottom to put the pressure on that hub that way. Remember this is a temporary repair, so you want it as tight as you can get it. And I'm gonna go on a crisscross pattern, even without an air gun, doesn't matter. You do everything in that sense. So it's, it hugs and pushes the rim into the hub equally. I'm gonna recheck. Take my key off, put it back in the package. Now I can take the jack down the rest of the way. And just like the tire says on the side, this is a temporary use only. This is to get you off the side of the road, out of danger, into a service station as soon as you can. Now you can take all your materials, take your flat tire, throw it in the trunk. Now if you're short in stature like me, and you don't feel you're strong enough, Grab it, use your legs. I'll grab the rim by the, the sprockets like this and just roll it up. And now you can shut your trunk and head to safety. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.